Hey y'all. Uh, excuse my appearance, y'all. I don't have my eyelashes on. My face is really puffy. My eyes are swollen. My sinus, I have sinus issues. And when my sinuses act up, my face hurt all around my cheeks, my head, everything hurts. And then uh, when uh, the sinuses, the sinuses come on, my eyes always swell up more than what they usually do. And then my nose is stopped up. I've been sneezing like crazy. I, I, I have allergies and I have allergies, so when they start up, sinuses, everything is all at one shot. I've been dealing with this since I was a teenager. It's it's a lot better now than it used to be because when I was a teenager, I used to have pain in my face so bad that I used to have to go to the hospital. Cause And all they said it is, is just built up cold in your face and stuff. You know, and so it's like my face hurts, but compared to what it used to feel like when I was a teenager, this is this is a, a walk in the park. But my my nose is uh, stopped up. Y'all hear? I have I can't I can hardly breathe through my nose at all. Um, I don't. I woke him up I don't know how many times this morning with my sneezing because when I sneeze it's not no <laughs> it's not a cute sneeze y'all <laughs> like you know how some girls you know they have the little cute sneezes <laughs> no mine's just like Hoo-ah! you know that type of thing <laughs> my my sneezing is crazy when I sneeze and he be like babe why the hell do you have to sneeze so loud? And I don't do it on purpose, y'all. That's just how I sneeze. It's been like that for years. He knows this. He knows I'm not putting on or, or pretending or acting. That's just how I sneeze. That's just how it is. I mean, don't get me wrong. I know it's crazy. But it's, it's just how it is. But all this morning, you know, I kept waking him up. And then when he finally got up for good, he was like, what am I gonna do with you? What am I gonna do with you? I'm like, hey, love me? What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? So, um, we go to gas station. Could you give me an apple juice? I need something. You want some peanut butter? Oh, okay. <sighs> oh, what the fuck are you doing? Come on, man. Anyway, so, um, oh my God, we have to get here. Oh, right now we have the gas station. Yeah, I mean, when I tell you my face is hurting right now, but in the, I would have stayed in the bed. But the only reason why I'm out of the bed, oh, and. Happy Mother's Day to all the beautiful mothers out there in the world. All the real mothers, the ones that do it up. You know what I'm saying? The single mothers, the mo the married mothers. Because regardless, whether we married or not, we still do our thing. You know what I'm saying? The devoted mothers, the dedicated mothers, the mothers that was there from the time the, the baby was conceived up until they was grown enough to leave the house and even after that. Happy Mother's Day. You deserve everything 
that you receive on Mother's Day, whether it's flowers, candy, perfume, a car, a new house, uh, a new pocketbook, you know, name brand, designer, whatever you get, take it out to dinner, wine and dine, jewelry, whatever you get, get from your partner or family or friends, anybody that feels that they love you enough to show you appreciation for all that you are and all that you do as a mother. Accept it. Be grateful for it. Don't say, oh, you didn't have to do it. You didn't have to know. I don't, I can't accept this. No, accept it. First of all, it's only once a year that you get this. And two, if you have been holding it down and doing everything you have to do as a mother and without, without fail, never asking for help, Try busting your ass two, three jobs. Sometimes going out here, working on the corner, selling stuff just to just to make ends meet. You know what I'm saying? There's a lot of women I see uh, selling fruit and flowers and stuff, standing on corners and stuff, doing all of this to make sure their kids eat. You know what I'm saying? Y'all doing the damn thing. And so whatever gift you get, don't ever say you don't have to. I can't accept it. Accept that because you deserve it. Whatever it is accept it, be thankful for it, be grateful for it, but also be knowledgeable in the fact that you know that you deserve it. You know what I'm saying? Now, don't, that's not to say that all mothers out here deserve to be uh, pampered and treated well. There's some mothers that deserves a kick in the ass, let me tell you. But for those that are the, tr the true ones, the true ones, yeah, live in the moment man enjoy it and live in the moment you know let him let him or her whoever you choose to have as a partner let them pamper you for the day rub your feet cook for you take you out to eat regardless of what cleaning up the house while you sit down and relax and watch a movie with a glass of champagne or wine in your head let him serve you or let her serve you for today don't do nothing sit your ass down because you only get this one day for this. This is Mother's Day. It's not your birthday. It's not Valentine's Day. No, 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 no. no. This is Mother's Day. This is a day for mothers to sit back and request anything she wants. And it should never be... Um, uh, 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 it should never be a situation where... Whatever she requests, you giving a look or, or a rolling of the eyes, sucking teeth, none of that. Anything she desires today, for this day, from the time she wakes up until the time she uh, goes to sleep, till 12.01 hits, let her get whatever she wants, no matter what it is. Let her have what she wants, because it's only this one time. Once a year, y'all once a year but anyway we're going to um uh pc riches and after that maybe maybe depending on whether or not we find one we want for the right price we'll go to uh best buy but we're looking for a refrigerator the refrigerator uh all those oh thank you baby what the hell what the hell was this at the bottom? Shaking sugar. Sit down. The house all sporty shape. Let me change it. Yeah, because it's, I don't know what the hell this is. Look at all that floating up in there. Yeah, so. Yeah, I can't. That He bought me apple juice, but it was stuff at the bottom floating all over there. He told him I'll shake it. Fuck shaking it. Go get me another one because that didn't look right. I wasn't about to drink that. Anyway, my husband, those of you who have been watching my videos, thank you. Thank you very much. Damn, y'all. I'm looking at myself. I look crazy. Oh, God. I, yo, it's not that often that I don't wear eyelashes, but when I, when I don't, Plus, on the, and the fact that my eyes are also swollen, extra. Well, my eyes are always swollen after I take uh, the lashes off. They always swell for a couple of days. 
but this is extra because my sinuses got my whole face messed up but yeah i look crazy right now yeah i don't even look i i can't ugh, i don't even recognize myself y'all but let me see i guess this looks a little better i don't know but anyway um those of you who've been watching my video, y'all know that I said that my husband had the refrigerator we currently have, my husband uh, bought, and uh, it's it's too big. The way they did the kitchen, the way they, they added another counter to my kitchen, so they moved my stove over, and because they moved my stove over, there's like maybe about this much space between my refrigerator and my stove. I can't open my the freezer door all the way because it hits up against the stove. I can't open the stove up all the way because the refrigerator blocks the stove door from coming all the way down. Now, I'm supposed to, um, thank you. I'm supposed to, I was supposed to have gotten a new refrigerator from the owners of the building because when when uh our when our uh, refrigerator broke years ago the um past owners they was in the process of selling the building to <clears throat> the new owners that we have now so because they was in the process, they wasn't about to give us a new refrigerator when the refrigerator broke down, even though they were supposed to, by law, they supposed to supply a refrigerator to the apartment, but they didn't. They said they was gonna send, they was gonna uh, order a refrigerator and have it delivered, and they never did. So we kept calling, kept calling, kept calling, and you want some? They kept, we kept calling, kept calling, kept calling, they kept saying, oh, we put an order in, uh, somebody should be by there to deliver a refrigerator. Never happened. So my husband got tired of waiting. He got tired of waiting, so he went to where you went, PC Riches, right? Mm -hmm. To get the refrigerator we currently got. So he went to the PC Riches. And he spent what fifteen hundred on the refrigerator. So um, we're getting ready to buy a smaller refrigerator now. The one that we currently have now, we're still keeping because um, it's not that old. Maybe about two years, three years old. Anyway, so that's we're gonna put that in storage and uh, just leave it in storage until we. Uh, finally buy, buy our house but um it pissed us off because we recently called management and told them that we need another finger and even though Even though we bought it, they still feel that because we have a refrigerator that they don't have to buy another one. But the point is, y'all didn't buy this one. We did. So if we're telling you we need another refrigerator, you're supposed, you're supposed to supply us with a refrigerator because from the time we moved, I mean, from the time man, um, the owners sold the, the building, y'all never replaced the refrigerator that broke. And y'all knew that. So we shouldn't have to buy a refrigerator from Jump. But we did. Because we got tired of waiting and we needed a refrigerator. And to me, what I get from all of that was they stalled. They stalled because they felt like we about to sell a building. What we look like buying her refrigerator for a building we about to sell. So I think what they did is they just kept telling me what they thought I wanted to hear until they sold the building. They just kept, you know, humoring me because they knew they were selling the building. So they wasn't about to buy me a refrigerator and they about to sell the building. 
So that's what they kept doing. They was humoring me. Oh, somebody's going to be delivering a refrigerator soon. Da, 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 da. And that's what they did until they sold the building. And then trying to, the people that own the building now, trying to get them to do anything is like pulling teeth. I'm telling you, they don't want to do nothing. They don't want to fix nothing. They don't want to repair nothing. They don't want to renew anything. They don't want to do nothing. They want you to pay rent. Regardless of how bad the plumbing is, regardless of how bad the living conditions is, regardless of the pest control, whatever, they want you to pay their rent. You know what I'm saying? They feel like the fact that you're living in their building alone is enough for you to be paying rent. No. But the point of living is to be living comfortably. How, how do you want a full month's rent when we can't, when the refrigerator's destroyed, when the bathroom's destroyed? You know what I'm saying? The only thing, the only problems we have never had is mice and, and roaches. Never had that, because I don't play that. And not only that, like when we first moved in there, any cracks in any part of my apartment, my husband sealed from day one. That was one of the first things we did when we got when we moved into this apartment. We got uh, locks for our door because you know when you move in an apartment, the landlord always have his own locks because they want to be able to just get in your apartment whenever they want to get in it. We ain't playing that. So we went and got more locks, and then after the locks was the ceiling of cracks and whatever which we didn't have a lot of cracks we didn't like and when i'm saying cracks i don't mean like in the wall i mean like at the uh, base of the floor you know where 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 mice could come under the floor or roaches can crawl from up under the, the baseboard of the floor that's what i'm talking about when we had cracks that's what i mean by cracks he my husband went to home depot and got sealant and he closed up every crack there was all in, in every room to make sure we didn't have them issues. Plus we're not dirty people. So, you know, even though we have kids and we had kids that want to eat around the house and say, uh uh, pick that shit up, wash that shit, get that shit out of there. Don't play with me. Why is this here? Why is there dishes in my sink? Who the fuck had this in the in the who put this plate in there? It was no dishes in the sink a minute ago when I left out of here. Who the fuck got this plate in here? How do you come and get this shit right now? I was going to do it after I ate. No, fuck that. Get this shit now. And then when you finish eating, wash that shit out. As soon as you finish eating. That's how it is in my house. Because, no, we're not doing that. Because I'm, I don't want roaches. I don't want mice. I don't, I, I hate to see dishes in my sink. I hate it with with a passion. I hate dishes in my sink. You know what I'm saying? And um, yeah, I, I just, I can't stand it. So, you know, and I mean, I talk like this to my kids once they got up in age. You know what I'm saying? Teenagers. When they was younger, no, I wouldn't dare. But now that they, you know, once they got up in the teenage years, you know, I was like, get that shit out my sink. The fuck? Get that out of my sink right the hell now. Like, if you can cook, you can clean. You know what I'm saying? Simple as that. If you could take a plate out to eat in it, then you can wash that plate. You know what I'm saying? My name ain't Alice. You know what I'm saying? And I don't work, work for the Brady's. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, so I never had a problem with uh, roaches and, and, and mice and stuff like that. And even when pest control come and they knock on the door, pest control, like, nah, I'm good. Because sometimes that shit brings roaches. Sometimes that shit brings roaches. Because. Uh, but the thing is, if you don't have no cracks around the baseboards, in between the walls, all walls, joint, floor and wall meat. If you don't have no cracks, I don't care how dirty your house is, you won't get no roaches. Because mm -hmm. there got to be a way for them to get in. If they ain't got no way to get in, then you're good. They ain't getting in. Wake up. What the fuck you doing? We, um... 
We had a friend. That lived in the projects. And. Him and his girl lived in the projects. He went to jail. And he would let. When we was younger. He would let me and my husband use his apartment. When she would. Um, you know, whenever she was going to be gone for the weekend or whatever, he would let us use his apartment for us to spend time together. You know, you know, you know. But every time we went there, we had to come in there fully clothed, like, like hazmat uh, um, uniforms <laughs> Cause the roaches was crazy, but you know what? We didn't know he had roaches. Like that. No, we didn't know. So the first time we went in, there. the first time, yeah, the first time we went, and it was crazy. So I he, mean, we, we was, went in there like we hazmat we, team, like the hazmat team. We was teenagers, so we didn't care. We just was like, you know, we just needed a place. <laughs> so we was willing to deal with it. Uh, you couldn't catch me in nobody's apartment now with a bunch of roaches like that. Never. But when we was teenagers, you know teenagers, their hormones take over their way of thinking. But after the first time, we came in there with suited down, roach spray, swats, uh, 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 the thing, the swat, the fly I swat. mean, yeah, fly swats. We came in there with everything because we knew. Yeah, we was the hazmat team. And they had roaches coming from everywhere. And um, the thing is, she said, and the girlfriend said that whenever bug uh, pest control came and they would spray the other people's apartment, the rat, I mean rats, the roaches would run from the other apartment into her place because they, you know, they look. And I don't believe that 100% that it wasn't, that she didn't already have roaches. But I do believe that they scour looking for a safe haven because once you spray up, they try to get away from that poison. So they're going to go, you know what I'm saying, to wherever. They're going to spread out. So I do believe that by um, them spraying, it caused them... I do believe that it caused them to look for refuge elsewhere in other apartments. You know what I'm saying? And I do believe that roach spray can do that. It'll make them scatter and leave where they at and wind up in somebody else's place. But I do believe that she already had roaches because, man, when I tell you. But I think after the second or the third time we came there, we got rid of them because I ain't seen no more after that. But we was like... I understand how the roaches in the project when they walls and floors are coming. Yeah! That was crazy. The only way I can think of it is where the pipes come in at, they don't close that up. That's the only thing. Yeah, because I'm but like, But the walls huh? are concrete, so I didn't even figure inside the wall that there's somewhere to travel. Like yeah. a regular house is a wood frame house, so they could travel in the walls, but buildings is poured concrete, I thought. Yeah, I didn't think about that. That's crazy. The walls and ceiling and floors is all concrete. Yeah. Anyway, we have stuff. We on our way. Anyway, I hit y'all when I get when we get back. You temporary shit.
stop in the pharmacy I had to get some Afrin because when I tell you I needed I should have I, I was just telling my husband I should have brought some shades with me because my eyes are burning and there's a little light you know shining through from the, the uh, clouds Here. I had to get me some Afrin because I can't take it. Stainless steel. Oh. Ooh, boy, when I tell you, my face hurt, my eyes are swollen, they burn. When I get home, I get a, a warm compress and put on my face.
don't look crazy. My face. You can look. You can see my face is swollen. Look. You can see it. I'm on swollen. I'm swollen. Oh, you stop messing with me. Boy, you wouldn't dare play me like that. Try to put your hands on me. And you know the only way you can put your hands on me, you know what I'm saying? If you're doing a little razzle dazzle. Strawberry on my lips, and you think it's me. I'm 